you ready for this? Ooh, you better be. Okay, we're still subtracting mixed numbers, mixed fractions. Four and one fifth minus four fifths. Just like we finished on the previous video. Let's ignore the whole numbers, whether you're adding or subtracting mixed numbers, mixed fractions. You ignore the whole numbers, you work only with the fractions first. Once you're done with them, then you pick up the whole numbers as a last step. So all we're doing is one fifth minus four fifths. Well, uh oh, one fifth minus four fifths. Hmm, that isn't gonna work because that means I gotta do one minus four. One minus four is a negative number because that's bigger. I can't do that. Well, I can, but here's how we have to get around this. Now keep something in mind. If I get a pizza and cut that into eight pieces, and I get all eight of them, how much pizza do I have? Well, a whole pizza, the whole thing, one entire pizza. If I cut a pizza into 12 equal pieces and I get all 12 of them, how much did I get? One. Realize any time the same number is top and bottom in the fraction, that's equal to one. That's the whole thing. Well, that's important here. I've got to do one-fifth minus four-fifths. Oh, man. Because I can't do the one minus four, here's what you're going to do. Now, I'm not sure. It depends on who you had for, I guess this was fourth grade math. Depends on who that person was and the terminology the person used. You can uh, rob Peter to pay Paul. Oh, I can't say that. That's a biblical term. I can't use that. I'll be in violation of some federal law. I'm sorry. Uh, I could do the Robin Hood thing. I can steal from the rich and give to the poor. Or whatever term you want to use. What I'm going to do is, okay, on the, on the left hand one, on this fraction right here, on the left, I'm going to subtract the number one from the whole number, meaning I'm going to subtract the number one from four. Well, that becomes a three. But I'm going to now give that same number one to his little partner, to the fraction part. Again, I'm going to steal from the rich and give to the poor. I'm going to rob Peter to pay Paul. I'm going to subtract one from the whole number, add the number one to the one-fifth. Well, how would I add the number one to the fraction one-fifth? Well, if I added it as five over five, oh, that's a lousy looking thing. Five over five is one, right? So I'm adding the number one to one-fifth. Catch what I've done. I've subtracted one from the whole number, added one to this. See, if I, this is dumb, if I have a dollar in my right pocket and I take it out and put that in my left pocket it's still my dollar I'm not changing anything so I'm taking one from this part and giving it to the other portion of the same fraction well now it's one or five fifths plus one fifth what is five fifths plus one fifth why that's six fifths so this whole thing right here becomes six fifths Oh, cram it in there somewhere, okay? So although it sounds goofy, four and one-fifth kind of temporarily becomes three and six-fifths. But now it's going to work because now, let's ignore the whole number right now. All we're doing now is still working with the fractions. I'm going to do six-fifths minus four-fifths. Well, I can do six minus four. That'll work. Six minus four is two. Keep the same five, keep the same denominator. So, I'm not finished yet, but I've finished with the fraction portion of my mixed number. Now it's two-fifths. Now let's go back and pick up the whole numbers. Realize, though, it's not a four anymore, it's a three. Now it's three minus one, which is two. That's your final answer. Now this, again, this is probably the hardest thing that people deal with in this entire quiz. I've done this for a long, long time, a lot of years. Uh, ooh, like almost 30 years teaching this one class. And this is the hardest thing. This thing I see people mess up on more. Get this down. we we'll go slow, we'll do some more. But again, what we do is if this 
is less than this, this is more than this, you must subtract one from the whole number, add the number one to the fraction portion in this fashion. Hey, what if this had been one over uh, six? Then I would have added this is six over six. You see the pattern. What if this had been something over seven? I would have added one in the form of seven over seven. Any number over itself is one. Well, let's look at another one. Six and two thirds minus two and five sixths. Let's ignore the whole numbers. Let's just do the two thirds minus five sixths. What's going to be our common denominator? Can I enlarge my smaller one and make them into the bigger one? Can I enlarge a three into a six? Absolutely. So in that case, although I'm going to rewrite that one, I don't mess with them. I keep them as five six, but I must enlarge the two thirds and make it something over six. So what do you do to a number three to convert him into a number six? You multiply by two. So the top number also, multiply that number by two, that makes it four. So I'm gonna do four six minus five six, that's not gonna work. I can't do four minus five, that's a negative number. When this number is bigger than this, or say it backwards, when this number is smaller than this, I can't do it yet. Same thing though, what I'll do is I will subtract the number one on the left hand fraction. I will subtract the number one from the whole number and give it to the fraction part. Well, if I subtract one from six, it becomes a five. But now I'm gonna add the number one to this fraction. How would I add the number one to four six? Well, I would add it in the form of six over six. I get a pecan pie divided into six equal pieces, get all six of them. I got the whole thing, I got one pie. So add six, six to four, six, well that's 10 six. So this whole thing right there became 10 over six, 10 six. Now I can subtract. Now I can do 10 minus five. Well, 10 minus five is five. I'm not done yet with my entire problem, but I'm done with my fraction portion. I can't reduce it, it's fine. That's as far as it'll go. Once I finish messing with my fraction, now let's pick up my whole numbers. Now it's, ah, uh, the six is not six anymore. It became a five. So now it's five minus two is three. Three and five sixth. Another one, ooh boy. Four and one eighth. Minus one and three fourths. Well, that's not a common denominator. I gotta make one into the other. Can I enlarge my smaller one and make it into my bigger denominator? Oh yes, I can enlarge a four, make it into an eight. So I can just leave this one alone, but I need to enlarge, oh, well, I need to enlarge a three fourths into something over eight. Well, let's see, what do I do? I need to multiply four times two to make them into an eight. So four times two makes eight. But the three says me too, I gotta have this. Okay, so multiply the three by two, that becomes six. Oh, that lousy looking junk there. Uh, can you think they'd hire some decent teachers around this college, but no one's gotta hire that Dudley guy. Okay, so we have now three fourths, became six eighths. One eighth minus six eighths, that's not gonna work. Because again, six is bigger, one smaller. I can't do one minus six. So on the left hand portion, once again, I'm going to rob Peter to pay Paul. I'm gonna steal for the rich, give to the poor. I'm gonna subtract one from the whole number. I'm gonna add the number one to the fraction portion. Now, how will I add one to the fraction portion? Add it as eight over eight. So eight over eight plus one over eight, eight plus one is nine. So this whole thing becomes nine eighths. Now I can do it. Now it's nine minus six, which in most countries these days, uh, most time zones, even in Texas, nine minus six is sometimes known as three. So three eighths 
Can I reduce it? No. Looks good to me. I finally finished with my fraction. Don't forget now, we're not done yet. We must now pick up the whole numbers. The whole numbers, though, are 3 minus 1, which is 2. Final answer. 2 and 3 eighths. There we have that. I hope you got this down. Um, you better do the, you better do this over and over again. Okay. Well, the clicker took about four times the last time. Let's check here. One time. Two times.